Good morning, everyone. Dr. Victoria Skirbo here, speaking to you from the Seed to Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. Today is Saturday, April 27th, and the moon is new in uh, Virgo. Um, the new moon occurred um, like 4.17 a.m., I think, this morning. This new moon in Virgo, five degrees, uh, four, some, four and change of Virgo, five degrees of Virgo, is square very tightly to Mars, which is at around five degrees of, um, or four degrees of uh, Gemini. Remember, Mars just moved into Gemini um, a couple of days ago, and we'll be there until March, so we have a long journey of Mars and Gemini. Both uh, Gemini and um, Virgo are Mercury ruled signs, and we have Mercury in the second degree of uh, of Libra. So it influences um, how this the energy these mercurial energies will manifest themselves. And of course, Libra is a relationship oriented sign, and it is also known for the psychology of listening. And so it's important through this period of time that we do listen to one another. Um, Virgo, of course, is an energy of fixing what's broken, organizing things, um, generally uh, working with your daily mundane tasks. And so this new moon, this lunation cycle, which lasts a month, is a great uh, energy for decluttering and organizing your life, Mars really sort of kicks that in the butt uh, in a way. We also had, uh, before the new moon, two rather active uh, crisis-producing and hence sometimes anxiety-producing uh, aspects. One is Venus making a square to Uranus. Talked a little bit about that yesterday in my, uh, my going over my past romances. Uh, not always a good, a good time. Uh, anyway, um, you know, you, you do things that are sort of out of character, uh, that can disrupt your life. So be aware of that. We also have Mars making a square to the sun. Uh, Mars, of course, in, uh, Gemini now, and then the sun, um, in, in, uh, Virgo. So, that's also crisis producing. Um, but it does give, again, that sort of kick in the butt that you need to get the work done. There's a lot of energy in this new moon uh, that we can utilize for good. Or we could not do what we need to do for ourselves and then just be guilty and anxious about it for the rest of the month. That doesn't seem like a good option to me. So uh, do what you need to do. In this next upcoming month, organize what you need to organize. Let go of what you need to let go of. Lighten the load uh, so you can be light on your feet. Because uh, change is here and change is happening. And you don't want to be caught flat-footed. Why, lookity, lookity, lookity. We have Charlie, who now likes to come out with me in the morning. Which is okay with me, really. Hi, Charlie. Hello, baby. Want to talk to Mama? Tell everybody what a good boy you are. Yeah? You're a good boy. Yeah? Hi, Charlie. Yeah, I know. He's very vocal. All right. Well, that is the day, guys. Happy, happy new moon. Hey, check out uh, Moon Shadows. I did it with Ona. Um... Day before, yesterday? Yesterday, I think. The day before? Well, anyway. Just, yeah. It's good. It's, it's short. It's a lot shorter than the one, than the new moon in Gemini. Which, of course, we couldn't stop talking. Uh, or the moon, or the new moon in Leo, for that matter. We couldn't stop expressing. We were very serious with the new moon. In, <laughs> in Virgo. So, check that out if you haven't already. If you have a little time. It's about 15 minutes, but... Take care of yourselves, everyone. Much love. Oh, and I did it in the news. Bill Barr. Very interesting read on his chart. 
and uh, his numbers and his Kabbalah. So if you haven't checked that out, you may want to. All right, guys, take care. Much love. Namaste.